Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. We continue showing you how wonderful is the teaching of the Quran, especially about the chastity. You know, uh, this surah have two things actually I want to talk about. First, I want to, you know, we will go by order. The first one in this surah, it's it's really it's really sick. Why? Because you know the Quran in every verse allowed in slavery. But this surah in here is allowed in not only slavery, you know, slavery is approved in Islam, it's normal, it's part of Islam. This is why Muslims country, they cannot sign the slavery law, the human right law in the United Nations. <clears throat> because if they sign that, it's going to be like as if they are signing something against their Quran. You cannot sign a law against your Quran teaching. So Quran allowed the slavery, you should allow the slavery, you cannot stop slavery. Anyway. So in this surah, as you see, it says it's also forbidden. It are women are already married. Okay, so it's forbidden for you as a Muslim man to have sex with married women. Until now, this is great. I like that. But look, except those who whom your right hand process, which mean who, like women, they are right. You know, uh, uh, married are forbidden for you. Except who? Except those who they are your right hand process. So they, those right hand process they are married, and they are accepted, uh, uh, you know, ex as as exception. <clears throat> so the exception saying, you cannot have sex with any married women, but those slaves you have in your hands. If they are married, they are not forbidden. It's also forbidden women already married so the women already married are forbidden for you if they are the free women not the women you own in your hand as a slave so if they are a slave you can have sex with them so this is will show you that you know how wonderful and how justice is the God of Islam he is not allowing you know like if 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 uh, if the Quran is saying Okay, you know, you can have sex with your slave, but you know, she is not married. At least she is not married. But a woman, she is married. She has a husband. And you are allowed him, the man who owns her, to have sex with her? And you know, <clears throat> when you say it's not forbidden for you, a woman you own, which means if I, if I, I own a slave, let us say I have uh, 10 boys, 20 boys. You know, Arab people, they have a lot of kids. Uh, so, this is me and all my kids, me and my kids, because we own this woman, all of us, we can have sex with her. Because it's what it's saying. Even if she is married. So imagine if I have 20 sons, all of them, they are men. And I am the owner, and they are my sons, which means they are the owner too. So all of us, we can sleep with this slave, rape her, and she is married. And she cannot say no. So you see, Allah is God of justice. He is a very merciful God. And the Muslims will say to you, we care about you know the women, she cannot have more than one man, because Islam do care about knowing who is the son, belong to who. Now, if more than 20 men, they are sleeping with women, one woman, who is the father? How you will know? And here it doesn't say, it's talking about one person, by the way. Why? Simply because whoever owned this woman can have sex with her. <clears throat> As an example, you know, when you go and buy a car, let us say, me and my cousin, we bought one car. What does that mean? It means both of us, we can drive her. So whoever have a share in that car, he can jump in the top of that car. I think that the picture is clear now, right? So whoever own those women, he is allowed to have sex with them, and even here, he, you know, he can rent them to others. And we will show you another verse in the Quran, showing that Muslims, they use to forest women to do prostitution the Quran said as an answer for that you know force them not if they choose a chastity but if you force them Allah will forgive you so 
prostitution in Islam is allowed. Muslims, they will lie to you and they say, no, 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 that's not true. I will show you that later. But in here, this is a lot more ugly from its prostitution. This is a married woman, maybe 100 times they, they will sleep with her at the same time. And this is God, Allah, is teaching me what to do with her. But you know, remember, the Muslims will come to the, especially the black African American, I feel sorry for them, those uh, African who converted to Islam, you know. Anyway, they are coming out, most of them, very soon. You know, uh, we are doing a great job with those brothers. You know, because they've been deceived. The Muslims told them, you see what the white man did to you? You see what the white man did, you know, in America? They bought you from Africa. You know, by the way, the one who was selling slaves from Africa to the West, it was the Arab Muslims in North Africa. Everybody know that. They go, they capture non-Muslims, and they sold them, they sell them to the Western. Until now, there's, there, there's more than two millions Sudanese a year a year scary number most of them they are kids they are sold all over the world especially to countries like Saudi Arabia uh, uh, like uh, Emirat like <coughs> Qatar until now if you go and search right now for human being slavery you will see in the top of the list all the Islamic countries number one in the top Saudi Arabia Emirat Qatar Bahrain Kuwait etc so, those people, they are trading slavery because slavery is part of their religion. So, they will go to the black man, Af African black man, and they will say to him, you know, you see the, what the white man did to you? You know, what the white man did have nothing to do with, with God. And the white man, he fixed that. And he said his sorrow. Now, why you didn't fix that in your Quran? If what the white man is a shame, why you go and you know you don't go and you take all those verses in your Quran and you burn it and you say what? No more slavery. We are people who support the humanity. Why you don't take this verse and here the one it says, even if a woman she is a slave, a black slave woman, even if she is a slave and married, you know, even if she is married, I will have sex with her because Allah allowed me to do so. So don't talk about others when you are living. In the world of slavery your God is the God of slavery everything in Islam about slavery even when you go to heaven your God Allah will give you what the lowest reward 72 women for sex those are slave sex sex is slave 300 boys to serve you this is what the Quran is saying those boys are slaves or they you know they apply for a job to work for your majesty huh did they have a choice not to uh, not to uh, serve you do those women have a choice not to sleep with you? No. Allah will force them. They are slaves made for entertainment for you. So even the heaven of Islam is the heaven of slavery. Not only the earth of Islam is earth of slavery. Islam is a slavery from the beginning to the end. The Muslim is a slave of Allah and everyone else, not a Muslim, he is a slave to the Muslims. It's a chain of slavery. So, Muslims who talk about slavery and talk about dirt and talk about good and bad, look at you, look at your book and see what kind of book is the book he allowed in you to do that. And then here, by the way, you need to know that this is not a revenge. Like, you know, <clears throat> maybe somebody will say, uh, you know, all days it used to be this way. You know, uh, if somebody uh, enslaved my woman and he raped her, I rape his wife. No. And here it doesn't say that. It's, it's not about uh, punishment. A woman, she is owned by you. You can have sex with her even if she is married. So this is not about, you know, uh, like eye for an eye. You hurt me, I hurt you. You rape my wife, I rape your wife. It, th that law, you know, is not the case. Just to make things clear. So in here, Allah is approving that and making it legal, legally approved, part of Islam. You can have sex with married women. And not only you, you and your kids and even you can rent that woman to anyone. You can give her as a gift to, to a friend to have sex with her. Like your friend, he will call you, hey Abdul, you know, well, hey Muhammad, how are you doing? You know, I'm horny. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to send you a slave, you know, so she will do some job for you.
she will do some job like what you know what is that what I'm, I'm saying so this is how we clean Islam this is how it, the chastity of Islam so when Muslims talk about how filthy is the American you know what you have no way no chance to compare your Quran to the most filthy American because I believe the most filthy American he is a lot more cleaner than your book otherwise you tell me how your God approved this. Thank you all. Jesus is Lord. Amen.